Hey everybody, it's me Rantanguma, and this tutorial is going to show you how to stop sounds after pressing the play button. I am doing this tutorial because one of my friends was, had made an animation, and I saw it and said that it seemed that she was getting used to Flash more. And I told her that if she needed any information about Flash, then to just ask me and I'll make a tutorial. And she did. And this was it. So first we're going to make the play button. That could be whatever you want. I'm just going with a generic play. And then you press convert to symbol and convert it to either a movie clip or a button. I'm going to choose button for now because you can have fun with them. What the option up is, is if you're not on the play button, it will just look like this. When you are scrolled over, you will see it change into whatever you change it into. I usually make it bigger so people will know that they are on it. Then on down, insert keyframe again, I make it smaller. So you notice that this play is smaller than that play and this play is smaller than over's play. So when you're over here, it'll look like this. When you're on the play button, it will get bigger like this. Then when you left click, it will get pounded in like this, or however you make it. As for hit, I really have no idea. So I just insert keyframe and leave that alone. Now what you can do is you can click on this, or even this, you really don't need a layer to but I usually just have it. Down here there's sound and you can change it to whatever sound you want. However, I'm not going to be adding sound in this tutorial because that might dilute it from what I'm trying to actually show you. Now on up, you really don't want sound on up because that could get a little annoying. Um, Okay, so now we're back on the main timeline. Then you press insert keyframe and insert about up to 30 to 40 extra frames. But this, on this part, we're going to be changing it to make it visually noticeable that a change actually happened. So move the play button over, paste in place, get rid of the play button on the newer keyframe. You still have the first play button on here. And then after that you want to add a sound. This is if you want sound at the beginning, like an intro kind of thing. I have my sound awaiting afterlife extended version and now in order to make it stop at the first frame until you click the play button, first you need to click the play button right here and go to actions, go to the action script panel and type in this code on release, open bracket, enter, underscore, root, dot, go to, and play, and type in whichever frame the new keyframe is on, or whichever frame you want to skip to. For this, I'll choose 2, because the new frame starts on 2. So after you type 2, Close the parentheses, press enter, and close the brackets. 
Then when you press check, it should say the script contains no errors. That means that it recognizes what you're commanding it to do, and you can leave it like that. Now after you get done commanding the play button with coding, click on the timeline and press and double click on stop. That will make it do this. I'm going to unplug my headphones so you can hear it. So it tests me. As you can see the music's playing and the play button's here and it's not going to the other frame or the other keyframe, which is good. When you click on play, it will do that. However, if you notice now, the sound didn't stop, and on top of that, it doubled up. So, if you want to fix this issue, there are two ways you can do it. One is a tedious way, which is you click on sound sync event start, and then over here on sound you select the same soundtrack but this time say stop. That will make it do this. Test scene. And as you can see it stopped. However, if you wanted to do that to every single soundtrack you had at the beginning of the Flash Animations intro page, you would have to do that simple. You would have to do that command for every single thing. So instead, the easier solution, if you want to stop every single sound, is to select the second keyframe and click on Actions. Click in here and just double click on Stop All Sounds. That will make it do this. And that's it's the same effect as what I just showed you. However, it's less tedious because you don't have to keep going here. And if you wanted to stop every sound that was playing, you could do so just by having this one action instead of having to repeat yourself every single time. Um, then on top of that, when you are at the end of the animation and you want to stop every single sound, that way if you if you don't have the stop all sounds command, this will happen. Messed it up a little. Just event. Test scene. As you can see, the music doubled itself. If you want that to stop happening, again on layer one, stop all sounds, which then that'll go through the rest of your animation. At the end of your animation, insert a keyframe, preferably on a blank keyframe, and do the same thing, stop all sounds. Then, uh, insert a new keyframe. This will basically also show the replay button. So I'm adding an extra thing, so, oh, replay is basically the same, but this time I'm not going to bother with all the button details, I'll just have it a button, but leave everything inside it alone. And then on actions, you just type in the same command that you put on for play. Right click, copy, click on your replay button, go 
hold on. Okay, I'm back. I had to pause it for a second. Anyways, um, I have the action song replay. Then on the frame, we just press stop again. That will stop it at the final frame. And then this will happen. Control test scene. And here's the replay button. Click it. And it will take you back to the second frame. Or if you want to go back to the absolute beginning, then change number two to one. And then test it again. And it should do this. Replay. Intro. So, yeah, you you'll need to learn some action script if you want to do some actions in Macromedia Flash or Adobe Flash easier. You don't necessarily have to if you can time it correctly, but timing can be kind of nuisance. Well, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful, and if you have, please subscribe and comment below if you'd like to see anything new in Macromedia Flash for a tutorial. And that's all for now, so ciao mata!